ओके डियर स्टूडेंट्स लेट सी वट इज देयर इन दिस क्वेश्चन ऑफ अ कार एक्सिलेट्स यूनिफॉर्मली फ्रॉम रेस्ट टू अलॉसिटी वी ड्यूरिंग द टाइम टी वन एंड देर इज एन एक्सलरेशन एंड दैट इज यूनिफॉर्म ओके इट देन कंटिन्यूज टू इट देन कंटिन्यूज एट कॉन्स्टेंट विलॉसिटी वी फ्रॉम टी वन टू टी टू वट इज द टोटल डिस्टेंस कवर्ड बाय द कार इन टी टू टाइम पीरियड नाउ सो वट इज हैपनिंग इज uh let us uh, make a graph here just to make it even more elaborate for ourselves okay so um this i'm taking t time on this scale and we are taking velocity here so initially it was at rest so it has to start from zero and now the acceleration is uniform so whenever there is a uniform acceleration how is the graph of v and t uh looks like it becomes a straight line because there is a uniform acceleration the formula that we use is v is equal to u plus at always remember that all the formulas of the kinematics that we use like v is equal to u plus at s is equal to u t minus half at square or v square minus u square is equal to 2 as all these formulas are valid only if the acceleration is constant it means neither the magnitude nor the direction for the acceleration is changing and this is uh, what is known as uniform acceleration now it is given in the question itself that it is uniform acceleration so these formulas are valid now v is equal to u plus at only means that v is directly proportional to t raised to power 1 it means that the graph between the velocity and the time will be linear and it will be a straight line so it will it is going to be a straight line up to some period because uh after t1 it is going to change its behavior now so t1 time has been spent now we are moving to t2 now the value further increases and let us say we are not talking about t2 and it says that it continues to move at constant velocity so now once the velocity has increased and now the velocity is constant like this so this velocity is now constant so we can see now what is the distance traveled here so my dear students as we all know that whenever a vt graph is there the area of the vt graph becomes the distance so from graphical point of view we are going to do all these kind of things otherwise all otherwise you can just substitute the values like you know things you need not to draw the graph okay now what what will be the area here you see so this is uniformly accelerated i would be using the formula s is equal to ut plus half at square in the first place u will be taken as zero so it will be half a t1 square so this is the distance traveled here that is from zero to t1 and if i want to find the area now i will show you how to do it with the help of area also so what is the area here it's a triangle half into base into height what is the base base is t1 and what is the height the height is this velocity so v is equal to u plus at and u will become zero so it is at1 so the height is at1 so i will write at1 so clearly it is coming out to be half at1 square same as the thing that we have got from the formula and now moving further in this area now okay so there is no acceleration we can just say that the velocity is constant so displacement is equal to velocity into time so our s2 by the formulation is definitely coming out to be v into t and what is this velocity at1 at1 and the time is this and what is this time this is t2 minus t1 and from the area point of view also if you want to find area it's a rectangle so you can say length multiplied by breadth so what is this breadth it is 81 multiplied by this which is small t that is t2 minus t1 and exactly the same thing we are getting there so our answer will be half a t1 square now they are writing this a t1 as v so half v t1 square okay and this is kept as v only t2 minus t1 so clearly d is our right option half v t1 square plus v into t2 minus t1 so my dear students this is how we do this question this is professor varun please subscribe to the youtube channel all the best